Hey all, today's vlog is all about how to clean your vocals microphone. It's going to be a quick tutorial, won't take very long, so stick around. While there are a variety of different microphones on the market, they all have one thing in common. They all get dirty, especially vocal microphones. Vocalists, especially those in really loud bands, tend to stand extremely close to their microphone. That causes both condensation, sweat, spit, all kinds of things, lip gloss, potato chips, pretzels, they all get embedded in that grill. And at a certain point in time, you start to notice, what is that smell? Well, it's your microphone. That means it's time to clean it. Here's how you start. First, you have to disassemble your microphone. The grill on most microphones is detachable, and it's best if you detach it prior to cleaning. Some grills simply screw off while others have spring-loaded retainer pins that have to be depressed. If you're looking at a mic and it doesn't seem obvious, get online and check the manufacturer's website for details on how to remove the grill. Sometimes a mic can get so grimy that the grill becomes stuck. That happened to me with my Beta 58A. I went too long before cleaning it, and while it unscrewed just fine, the foam insert that sits snug to the grill stuck to the microphone cartridge. If this happens, gently rock the grill side to side, wiggling it off slowly so as not to damage the cartridge or wiring. Once you've removed the grill, handle the exposed cartridge with care as it's delicate. Set it down in a safe place. Inside the grill is a foam windshield. Some manufacturers recommend you leave the foam in place when washing. When my windscreen got stuck, as I mentioned earlier, I ended up having to separate the foam from the grill in order to remove it. So this is what the foam windscreen looks like. And if you look close inside the grill, you can see that I've got some rust developing on the inside, which just speaks to how much condensation actually gets into the mic when it's used a lot. Or it just means I spit a lot when I sing. If you leave your foam windscreen attached to the grill, you can clean your mic by putting a couple of drops of dish soap in a small container and letting it soak for about half an hour. I personally like to add a little scrubbing by taking one of my old toothbrushes and going over the surface of it. Since the foam windscreen comes off, I can even get into the undersurface of the grill. After soaking for 30 minutes, I rinsed the grill off, removing the soap residue and leaving it disassembled to dry. Never ever ever put the grill back on before all parts are thoroughly dried. Once dried, you're ready for reassembly. Replace the foam screen into the grill and reassemble. If you own a microphone that does not have a removable grill, you'll need to be careful when cleaning it. I recommend that you use a damp toothbrush, not saturated with fluid, just damp. Hold the microphone upside down and gently brush the grill in that position. This way you avoid dripping water onto the delicate cartridge inside. One thing to keep in mind is that if your grill is damaged, you can buy a replacement grill from Shure at a very reasonable fee. If you like this video, please comment below and also let me know if there are any other subjects you'd like to hear about. Also, please hit the subscribe button. If you are interested in a written synopsis of this vlog, I also have a blog at pambarrettmusic.com. See you next time.